up everybody, so today I'm going to talk about someone I met that has tried retail overcharge and failed, and I'll kind of tell you why. So today, the other day at my job, um, I met somebody new that works in my department. He hasn't been there for a few weeks for, uh, I think, disciplinary reasons or whatever, but uh, I just met him the other day. And, um, he said he actually tried retail arbitrage from the store that we work. So he bought, like, 20 of an item to try to sell it on eBay. And it was the wrong item. He said they made two editions of the item. And the second edition, which is the ones that he bought, were, uh, valuable. So, yeah, it ended up having to return everything and um, get his money back for it. And he said he hasn't really tried to do it again. And that's where his mistake is. Like, if you fail at doing something, you just have to learn why you failed and just keep on going. Because I failed I failed a lot going retail arbitrage. I didn't know what I was buying. I sold, like my first shipment into Amazon, I probably lost like 10 bucks um, total because my first shipment was a bunch of books that I bought at a garage sale and they were like 10 cents, 50 cents a piece. And I probably sent in like 10, 20 books these four books, I ended up selling them for like four bucks, and this was back when, um, that was around how much the fees were, so I was selling books for like $3.99, and I was losing like 25 cents by selling it that well, I just wasn't aware of how much the fees were, um, plus at that time I was taking my FedEx boxes to like a hardware store, and they were charging me another couple dollars to send them out for me. And that was just kind of stupid to take them there. Um, when I could have taken them somewhere else and they would have done it for free. Um, so I probably had lost like 20 bucks on that first shipment, but I didn't. I might have quit for like couple months after that because all that stuff was selling. I made, I sold a couple books for like eight dollars or something, but that's, um, that's not very much money when it comes down to it. Um, but the reason he failed, he didn't do enough research on the item before buying it. So he spent like three hundred dollars on these items without even knowing that there was another edition of the item that there was like what the item was. He probably didn't scan the item to look it up on eBay because if he scanned it, it might have came up by the UPC on eBay and he would have seen that uh, those ones weren't selling as high as the other ones. Um, but yeah. business because it takes a lot of learning and you can watch videos all day and you're still going to make mistakes if you don't have someone in person like helping you. You're still going to make mistakes um, on how you, you're still going to make mistakes in this business. You're still going to make mistakes when buying stuff and you're still going to mistakes when shipping stuff into Amazon, you're still going to make mistakes when selling stuff on eBay. Um, I'm still losing money sometimes when I ship stuff to a customer on eBay. And that's just, I'm okay with that because I have my shipping at three bucks um, for like light items. Sometimes it costs four to ship it. I'm okay with that because I sell it high enough um, that I don't really care about that dollar. So, that's just what you gotta know. You can't quit.
quit. Just got to keep going. And he hasn't really sold anything since then. He just keeps talking about it. He just talks about selling on Amazon. But he's never done it. He talks about selling on eBay. He bought all those items to sell on eBay, but I don't think he's ever done it. So, that's another thing. I wouldn't go out and spend almost 400 bucks on tools. That's what he bought was uh, some tools. I wouldn't go out and spend 400 bucks on them if you haven't sold anything on eBay. I would go to a thrift store, buy some stuff for like a dollar, and try to sell those. I just bought, I just spent seven bucks, and I'll probably make 30 or 40. It's pretty simple when you think about it. Um, you just gotta start small when you're learning. Like I did, I went to garage sales, I, I spent like four dollars on a bunch of books to try to sell on Amazon. That's what I did, I just tried to sell those. So don't quit, just keep going, and just keep learning, I'm still learning every day, and just keep at it. So that's really it, everybody. I just hope you took something from this video, and I'll see everybody next time.